Hi everyone, welcome to another video from the Wolf College of Coffee. My name's Megan and today we're going to be talking about the Compaq F8 grinder. I'd like to give a bit of a shout out to Kayla and the team at Extracted Espresso Solutions. The compacts, while they've been around for a while, they are quickly becoming um, a favourite of ours to put out into the field, purely because of their speed of grind and how reliable they are seeming to be. Um, so we just want to talk about a few features today, physical and just little handy digital features that we're finding really great. So as you can see, they are quite narrow um, and the hoppers are quite large, which is really, really good. Um, so the hoppers themselves are 1.9 kilos, um, which are a bit larger than your average standard size hopper. You don't have to purchase this additionally. It is as it comes. Um, and it is also just in terms of the weight, they are only 13 kilos, which makes it really great for people such as myself, trying to lug them around and install them and all that sort of stuff. Um, and the burrs themselves inside, they are flat burrs, they are 83mm flat burrs, which helps with the speed of grind as well. Um, so moving on to the handy features that we found. Um, so just in terms of actually grinding the coffee, it is hands-free. Put the handle in, it grinds and you're away. So that obviously helps in a busier environment. Once you put the handle in, you can be busy over here, steaming um, and doing other things and it's a real time saver. Um, also, as you can see, just exactly how fast it is. Um, there is over 1200 revs per minute of the blade. So uh, roughly a 20 gram dose, well, you can get that in about four seconds with one of these grinders, which is really, really great. Another really great feature is that it has three different settings on the top, a one, a two and a three. So you can set these to different grind times. Um, so that helps if you want to just have like a little top up button. If you do use different size baskets, you can have them set for different amounts. Um, not that a lot of people do that these days. Um, it is also really easy to change the grind size as well. All you do is press on the button that you want to change and press OK. And there's really simple up and down buttons to do that. A little bit of a different feature compared to other grinders that are in the field is when you do want to change the grind size itself, um, there is no actual physical indicator on how you do that. When you look on the side, there's simply a dial of fine and coarse, but the display actually tells you how you do that. So it starts essentially from zero, and then you move the dial in a numerical value. So you will have to, when you first start using these machines, work out exactly how far you need to go, how far a change one makes you to two makes you to three makes you and then you'll have to kind of keep that in mind you will also have to remember where you started from because if you make a big change and then you have to try to get back you have to remember what number you started on so it's something to keep in mind um, it also does have a really handy password protection um, on it so if you are finding that having a lot of different baristas working and trying to change the settings on the grinders you can actually essentially set and forget in that respect set your grind set a password and then only certain people that know that password can change the grind which is helpful sometimes um, it also comes up with an alarm to change the burrs as well. So if you're starting to feel like it's been a little while since you've had a blade change, you can go into the settings and have a look. Um, and it will also, when it's definitely time, it will raise an alarm and let you know. So that's a really good thing to help you keep track of exactly where you're at with machine maintenance and those sorts of things. Um, you can also get it in seven different colours, which is really, really good just from the factory. And you also then have a setting to customise the colours as well. So seven is standard, but basically the world is your oyster and you can take it as far as you want. And it also comes in six different languages, which was really exciting for me to find out. Um, so we get them and they're in English when they first come in here. Um, but then obviously if you were in another country in the world, um, you will get it set in your language and it will just come, that's just the way it is. It is really super easy to change in the settings. So if you just go into menu, work your way through, um, it's really simple to change. And it also does have the grind pause option as well. So if you put your handle in and you change your mind or something's not quite right, you can take the handle out straight away and it will stop grinding. Um, that is also really helpful if 
for whatever reason, your forks aren't set in the right position, if they do fall or if somebody knocks their handle, anything like that, which does happen, um, it will stop grinding and you're not gonna end up with a big pile of grind all over your bench, which is good. Good to know for us clean freaks such as myself. So those are some of the features of the Compact F8. Um, as I said, they are becoming quickly one of our preferred grinders to put out in the field. They're super quick, they're super light, plenty of space in the hopper. So if any of you at home um, have used this grinder before, if you have any experience with it, um, if there's anything that you're not sure about, if you have any questions, please feel free to put it in the comments below and we'll answer them as best we can. Um, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do so. Keep in touch with everything that we're doing here as part of the college. Um, and we hope to see you next time in the next Wolf College of Coffee vlog. Thank you for watching this week's Wolf College of Coffee vlog. If you'd like to watch another video, you can click one of them here. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe so you can always see the next video when it comes out next week. If you'd like to leave a comment or like below, we'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, grab a cup of coffee and come back soon. I can wait.